How's it going, fellow traders? Magic Trader here. And this is the CFTC report for the data that was reported on February 22nd, 2022. Here's a brief snapshot of the positions held by the institutions as of that date. And now let's uh, have a look at what we have here with gold. What do we have with positions? Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at what the banks are doing with their long positions, okay? Since the beginning of February, they've increased them from 275, 279, 313, now 350,000, okay? That is major, all right? And at the same time, what do we see in the charts? This was as price was rallying here. Now, we talked about this in relation to what is taking place in the world and all the headlines that are coming out with respect to Russia and the Ukraine that caused price to increase. You see the banks were helping price to get up there to help trigger the uh, buying taking place from investors and retail traders, which took price all the way up here only for the banks to just reverse it right back down. Okay. So you see how uh, retail traders got lured in there to go long and then the banks just reverse price back to where it was to begin with. So be very careful because as we've pointed out, there is a range that price is stuck in and this area of supply here is at the top of the range. So unless that gets broken through, then uh, with institutional trading, not retail trading, then we can't uh, take any positions with gold just yet. All right, now we have oil. Let's take a look at their positions. So oil, we pointed out that oil has contacted a major area where the banks are going to be interested in taking profits. And this is exactly what has taken place. Okay. We outlined it before it happened. And now you can see that it is exactly what is taking place. How would we have known that unless we knew that this area was going to be an area where the banks were going to take profits? Okay. Cause we mentioned this way back here, way in the past months ago. And yet now we see their positions drop their long positions from 503 to 492 to 487 to 480 to 458 and now to 442. Remember, this is all happening leading up to this whole situation with Russia and Ukraine. So interesting how price enters an area of supply, which is what we have here. The institutions have been taking profits because this is weeks. One, two, three. We're into one whole month, as you can see from the data. One whole month of profit taking on long positions. And now they're talking about war with Russia and Ukraine. Okay. This is what's causing a lot of people to come in and buy oil as the banks are selling it to them. Okay. The banks are offloading their long positions to retail traders and investors. So be very careful with this. Yes. Can price go a little bit higher? Yes, it can because we've located a big area where the institutions are going to be interested in, in profit taking on long positions. So it can go higher, but it's very limited to how much higher it's going to go before this eventually drops hard. Okay. So be careful if you are looking at oil or trading oil, uh, the dollar, what do we see? Not much going on here. Long positions, 43, 40, 42, 43, uh, short positions cooled off. We're not seeing much here. There has been a steady um, uh, net position in the uh, a bullish uh, territory. Look at that. Plus 36,000. So nothing to really see here. But if, then again, if you take a look at price and what it's been doing, we've contacted again an institutional area of selling. This area is institutional selling. Okay. It's an area. Let's just put it this way so that you understand. This area here is an area where the banks will want to take profits on long positions. And when they take profits on long positions, what tends to happen is price will decline like this. Okay. That's what tends to happen is price declines like that. All right. So we're going to keep an eye on that because we don't see how this is going to play out in any other way. All right. This type of price action that we're seeing here is typically what happens when price comes up and they take profits on long positions. You see these big moves here like this, like this, like this. You see this big red. OK, probably going to continue to see more until we eventually see price drop down to this area here. 
Okay, so be very careful because everything is pointing in a direction that uh, the dollar is going to be dropping. Aussie. This is a uh, commodity currency. Let's take a look. Longs are cooled off, so we're not really seeing anything in terms of longs, okay? They've been cooled off for quite some time. Nothing has really changed there. Uh, shorts, they had this cycle that they were going through, which we detailed in the uh, Arusha reports. Um, and right now, they've been reducing their short positions from 103 to 95. All right, so where does that leave us here? Well, if we take a look at the weekly chart, we see this cycle of ups and downs uh, that the banks were taking price, okay? Increasing shorts, profit, increasing shorts, profit, increasing shorts, profit, okay? And that's where we're at right now. So we're waiting to see because this trend line is going to keep price down in this area unless it breaks out. So likely going to break out from what we're seeing with the rest of the markets, you know, with respect to the, the dollar dropping and the euro rallying and so forth. But we're going to wait for the trigger first. U.S. CAD, take a look at this one. This is another commodity currency, all right? And we know that oil has been getting somewhat stronger lately. And so we had a little bit of a push to the downside here. Eventually, oil is going to get extremely weak, okay? And when oil gets weak, it's going to put pressure on price to the downside, okay? So yes, it can rally up a little bit more, but I think it's likely going to hold this area for quite some time until it eventually uh, drops, okay? So the area is probably going to be, you know, somewhere around this area until it drops, all right? Uh, do we see anything in terms of the positions? Well, yeah. Look at longs, cooled off somewhat, shorts, uh, more aggressive. And then we have this here, net positions in the negative. I like to see this remain in the negative, and that will uh, really solidify the idea that uh, price is going to be dropping. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the U.S. Swiss. Uh, not much here. Longs are cooled off. Shorts are cooled off major range between weekly and uh, uh, weekly demand and weekly supply. So not much to see in terms of this one. Euro, here's an interesting one. Let me point out some things to you here, okay? So if you take a look at longs, you can see that they've been aggressive for some time, but nothing serious has changed about them, okay? Now I want you to take a look at short positions. 183, 180, 170, 154. Do you see a path downwards here? Reducing, 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 reducing. And take a look at net positions. Increasing, increasing, in, increasing in bullishness. Now put that to the correct context and you'll understand that there is a likelihood that price is going to rally. Because remember what's taking place with the dollar. Contacted major supply. And we see how they're using this area as a, a place where they can offload long positions in order to facilitate a reversal. So if that takes place, we will likely see a rally up in price here on the euro. All right. So that is what we are forecasting uh, for the euro because all the evidence is pointing in that direction. Pound. Same thing here. There's not much in terms of the positions here. OK, they're back and forth. Look at the coloration of the long and short exposure here. OK, it's not really giving anything was bearish, bullish, neutral, you know, there's not much there to look at, okay? But if you look at what's happening on the weekly chart, it's something very similar to what's happening on the euro. They look slightly different, but same idea, all right? Very likely going to see a push upwards just from what I am seeing here on this chart. Besides that, there's not much else to see. US dollar, Japanese yen, look how well that's holding, okay? Holding very, very well, all right? Now, they say that the yen and oil are correlated together. And what we're seeing here is weakness, okay? Weakness in the yen with it holding this upside, all right? So, what's going to happen if oil drops? Yen is going to get stronger, which means drop. And we're also expecting the dollar to drop. So, it's very likely that over time we're going to see a move like that. Right now, it's holding very strong. And it could hold strong for the next few weeks or so, but I would suspect that once the dollar starts to drop, if the dollar indeed starts to drop, and oil starts to drop, then we will likely see something like that, okay? It could hold sideways, because again, the yen dropping means a stronger 
uh, uh, kiwi or kiwi <laughs> stronger yen. So um, it's difficult to say because this one's been acting very different from the dollar. All right, so we'll just continue to watch this. We got a strong uptrend taking place here, and obstacles have been removed on the higher time frames. So we'll continue to uh, to monitor this one as time passes. Last but not least, we got the Kiwi. What are we seeing here? Same thing with the uh, Aussie. It's a commodity currency. Very likely going to see this break to the upside. And if we look at the positions, what do we see? Uh, longs are, you know, not doing so great. They popped them up from 17 to 24,000 only to drop them back to 17,000 again. And shorts were aggressive because, you know, price was dropping down. So now they're starting to take profits on those short positions. So once they establish the profit taking on short positions, they'll probably establish some more um, momentum to the upside. OK, that is likely what's going to take place on this one. OK, hard to tell because it's in a really bad situation, but that is what is likely going to take place. All right, ladies and gents, so that's it for this week. There's your CFTC report for the data that was reported February 22nd, 2022. If you need more information on how we do our analysis, you can reach us at www.whiteoakfx.com. Thanks and have a great week. Take care.